Hi, I'm Tom Field, Senior Vice President of Editorial with Information Security Media Group. My topic is healthcare, security in healthcare. I'm very pleased to be speaking today with Abdul Rahman, Chief Scientist with Fidelis Cybersecurity. Abdul, thank you so much for joining me here today. Thanks for having me. We talk an awful lot about healthcare and security, and often we're talking about devices, but I'd like to have you tell me a little bit about the infrastructure in security that you see. So, as it pertains to healthcare, we're looking at qualifying and characterizing terrain as really being of two main species. Uh, the first species, what we'll call managed terrain or managed hosts that can support endpoint protection. So typically, any host or any computer that can support an agent uh, that's capable of being updated with rules or signatures, that's what we would call in the sort of regime of managed hosts. Then the other sort of species is uh, unmanaged hosts, and this could be considered, you know, IoT, SCADA, uh, but in, as it pertains to healthcare, these are devices that can't support an agent, like medical devices or devices that produce patient telemetry um, or interesting kinds of lab equipment, uh, spectroscopy devices or others. And so, uniquely, for understanding how to protect an infrastructure in the healthcare community, one needs to gather and understand uh, what the total terrain is in an environment uh, through understanding the nature of the managed hosts as well as the unmanaged to get a clear picture of how to build a cybersecurity posture. How do you find that these terrain challenges are unique in healthcare? Well, the interesting uh, aspect is really the distribution of unmanaged versus managed. Whereas in other verticals, whether energy or finance, you're dealing with the types of applications that can support those particular functions. Uh, in healthcare, you know, primarily whether you're on the research front or in the uh, place where you provide actual care to patients, you're dealing with devices that are very, very specific to gathering certain information, and that those metrics, that information is used to really portray a, a complete picture. Uh, in, in the laboratory, where you're, you have laboratory equipment that performs you know, X-ray or spectroscopy, uh, you want to protect those devices. And if they're storing information that may be useful uh, after analyzing blood or other specimens that's unique to patients, uh, that kind of falls under the compliance aspect of things like HIPAA, where you really want to protect that data that's, that's unique. You find a larger distribution of those kinds of devices that can't support endpoint protection, that fall in the regime of unmanaged uh, in, in healthcare, which is very unique. And there's a, a large diversity of those devices that lends itself to uh, different kinds of approaches and strategies for cyber defense. So Abdul, you talked about what are the unique challenges in healthcare. Talk to me about what Fidelis brings to the market that's unique in this sector. So Fidelis consists of several different components that offer um, deep visibility, robust detections, and really a full security stack to protect infrastructures. And so as it pertains to healthcare, uh, our endpoint capabilities, our network and deception, which has really been merged in 9.2, uh, we have Collector, which can really support historical data, um, which is akin to a lot of what's going on in the open source community uh, to gather information and run different kinds of machine learning or AI on it. Um, and we have a sandbox, right? And so this ecosystem of components that's been architected and designed in a very unique way when positioned for uh, healthcare organizations that have a more heavily weighted unmanaged host distribution lends itself well to be tailored and customized to the kinds of cyber defenses that will provide you know the kinds of protections that CISOs and CIOs hope for. So I don't need to tell you the healthcare security marketplace is a crowded marketplace these days. This sector is getting a lot of focus, a lot of attention. What makes Fidelis uniquely qualified to help secure the healthcare infrastructure? Well, there, there's really two key themes, um, and both are equally important. You know, the first theme is the fact that we have this ecosystem of several components that work well together is important. The second theme, which is really key and is, is a huge cost and maybe a hidden assumption, is the integration cost of pulling together many different vendor products. So all too often you'll have customers in this particular vertical go after 
um, whether through seduction or they like a product, to you know integrate that as their endpoint product, and then they choose another sort of network product, and then they choose sort of a, an identity management product, and you know the cost associated with getting those APIs to talk together, to get data formats to work together, and to have really the plumbing and electrical work as designed and promised and then lean into sort of the trade craft to do the detections and cyber defense, it's usually imbalanced. You spend a lot of time getting the plumbing working uh, with workforce management and customized code that has been really one off you know, depending upon you know, who uh, flows in or flows out of, of that workforce. And that, that's a real challenge that I think Fidelis has met you know, head on by having a well-integrated security stack that supports all of these different facets that can be tailored to a variety of different needs. Well, very well said. Thank you for sharing your insight with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, appreciate it. We've been talking about healthcare security, and we've been talking with Abdul Rahman, Chief Scientist with Fidelis Cybersecurity. For Information Security Media Group, I'm Tom Field. Thank you very much.